This tutorial requires beginner to intermediate skills and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to prep maybe and uh, roughly an hour to complete. The money went into the soft putty and assuming you have some basic foundation and basic colors already, that's about all you need. So it's a pretty cost efficient makeup. Now let's begin by creating a sort of protective shielding as well as holes to cover those eyes because we don't want that soft putty in our eyes, right? So we built up with a bit of uh, aluminium uh, foil to get some height to it. And then we basically take a glue gun and create holes on that foil. And um, we let that go out over the edges, of course, because we want to have some areas to uh, attach to our skin. And this will create a sort of plastic grid with nice little holes. And when we merge that with the soft putty, we get holes all over the place, including straight over our eyes. So we peel it off and of course remove that aluminium foil. And there you go, the holes for the eyes. Now let's put everything on. But first, let me take a selfie or in this case, uh, protect the eyebrows from our skin adhesive. So a little bit of Vaseline on those brows. And since we will have holes over our eyes, we need to have a black background there so that our skin is not visible through those holes. So a coat of black color there. Raccoonify yourself. Next up, the skin adhesive of your choice. We are using a uh, Spirit Gum basic skin adhesive here. And after it's applied, you might want to be dabbing with your finger on it until it's all sticky. And when you're good to go, just apply that grid in place. You might need to add additional skin adhesive if you haven't gotten it in all the right places. And once you look like this, it's time to bring out the soft putty and you might want to work it with your hands to heat it up first. Apply that skin adhesive and again dab with your fingers until you get these like threads fibery things there and then you know it's ready to use and just slice off a piece of that soft putty shape it the way you want it and put it in place think of that soft putty as an extension of those holes we have covered our eyes with and once you have a few pieces attached you can start working with a tool or your fingers to shape it the way you want and fade it into your skin and adding a little bit of Vaseline or oil on those tools or fingers you can shape it a bit more easily so basically that's it you keep shaping and spreading that soft putty out merging it with your own skin and just add new pieces and create little islands where you want those holes And to create those holes, you can use basically any kind of tool you want. We're going to use these um, brushes in three different sizes. And again, we dip that tool in some Vaseline so that we don't rip all that soft putty up and mess it up. I'm creating holes in my face in Swedish is... Jag skapar hål i mitt ansikte. And with all those holes in place, we bring out a sealer and cover all that soft putty so that we can work on it with colors afterwards.
But before we get to those colors, we want you to check out this amazing account and these awesome creations. It's well worth a look and scroll and a follow, by the way. So let's start off with that paint job. And of course, we begin with a nice coat of foundation. One dark tone and one a bit brighter, starting with the dark one, covering the whole face, basically every single part of it. But of course, to keep things from looking way too flat, we go in with the brighter tone and add that to all the areas where we would usually add highlight. There we go, looking much less flat. And now for some cool wound looking dynamics. And we go in with this purple tone and we add that on all the edges of those holes. So basically on the edges, going outward. And of course, here you can go bananas with your choice of colors. If you wanna do a super orangey uh, style thing, or maybe a Frankenstein version with a lot of green. And speaking of green, we are bringing in a dash of green here to add to a little bit of a sort of rotten kind of look. Again, adding to that nice mix of colors to keep things from looking too flat. And to emphasize the holes, we bring in black. And of course, that brush is going straight into all those holes. And we also switch up the colors a bit here, adding that nasty green tone into some and mixing both green and black in some holes. To mix up things even further, we go over with one layer of that lighter foundation tone along with some green in it. And this step of course helps to mix in that black we painted into all the holes to keep them from looking way too painted in. And then we keep mixing that purple tone and that green tone in various areas of the face to keep things looking interesting. Some final touches with some gooey pus makes things look really nasty. And if you don't have a fake pus like this, you can, yeah, well, pretty much use uh, honey, mashed banana works well. Anything that you can get your hands on that has that color and is okay to put on your skin. And then we have this black gooey mess here that's actually meant to have in the mouth, but we put that in one of the holes there. Made things look pretty cool. Yep, essential mouth goo with black. This is a nice fit. Put up your hair any way you want it, or put on a wig, and then you're good to go. And just like with many other makeups, they will look a lot more scary in a dimly lit Halloween party environment. But it looks pretty nasty anyways, and you can see perfectly out through it, and you can play with that gooey mess in your mouth. Anyways, we hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, give us a subscribe. And we'll be back shortly with a new tutorial. I don't know if you noticed, but didn't Ellie have a kind of nice ring on one of those fingers? You have rings on? Anyways, I don't know what that is about. Do you? See you soon. Love you. Bye.